Hey guys, it's me again. Just, just as Tatum. Of course, this is Tatum. Um, I was going through all my questions and I'm trying to answer some more because I'm so behind. I, you know, I've got really behind on these. Um, one question was about me and my husband. They want to know how do we have such a solid foundation? Okay, a lot of people look at me and my husband and think, oh my God, y'all are so perfect. No relationship is perfect. We have our ups and downs just like everybody else. But we don't talk about them in the public. We work them out ourselves. Um, but I will say, we've never really fought. We might have had like one fight in our whole relationship. We, we've had little arguments. But nothing that would ever scare us to think we would ever split up or anything like that. You know, um, I always told my husband when what happened to my son. You know, him being not his biological, he could have walked out and hogtailed and nobody would have blamed him. But he stepped up to the plate like a boss. <laughs> And we have so much fun together. You know, sometimes he's my best friend. And he'll be like, you need to go out with your girl best friends. You know, you know they're going to think, darn, I've kidnapped you or something. But we have so much in common. And that's very rare in a relationship. Also, we're both, both Virgos. And one of my friends the other day, we were at a, um, a work Christmas party. And she looked at me and she said, I can't believe y'all are both Virgos. Because... You know, Tatum, I know how you are. And she's like, putting two Virgos together, I wouldn't see it. But it, it just works. I don't know. We're both stubborn. You know, we're both, it's our way or the highway. But we just somehow come together and meet in the middle, you know. But, you know, he lets me have all my animals. And, you know, when I can't work, he buys the feed for them. He does for them. Sometimes he gets aggravated and says, I want to knock them in the head. But he loves animals just like I do. And if he can help them, he will. And, you know, one day, maybe, with all the paperwork and stuff, we can finally turn into a sanctuary for Joseph. Because Joseph, these animals, he loves them with everything he has. And we're trying to fix a place where we can get the wheelchair down there better. You know, we're, and it's been so cold here lately. You know, it's really not usually this cold in South Georgia. But it has been lately, and I just, I can't risk him getting sick. So that's why you see me bring a goat or two in the house once in a while, or a baby lamb, you know. Because it just makes his day. But I would have to say, to make a long story short, communication is the key and trust. And just, if you're not best friends with your significant other... I couldn't imagine it you know he's the first person I tell something to he's the first person I confide in he knows me better than anybody when I tell you anybody he knows things about me that I would never tell a soul um, he knows my past he, he is my present and he will be my future so December 1st made eight years and you know he's the love of my life so that's what so remember girls and guys communication trust and loyalty loyalty is a big thing for me and um being each other's best friend that's you know there's nothing like it in the world and the way he looks at my son the way he treats my son he never treats him any different um you just would never know they're not biological so you know but he's not just a provider he is a a partner in life so I couldn't ask for no better so there's your answer just remember them keys and you should be fine if you don't have them then that's a red flag and you need to sit back and think about something that's all for just ask Tatum see you guys later